Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install the latest version of Linux Mint on Mac OS using VirtualBox. For those who don't know VirtualBox, VirtualBox is a tool that allows you to run multiple operating systems on your host computer. Now the first thing you have to do is download and install VirtualBox. Head to your Chrome browser and then search for VirtualBox. Now you can see the first page over here which heads to virtualbox.org click on it now we can click on the download tab at the left and then you can see virtualbox for windows mac os linux and other operating systems now click on virtualbox for mac os and it should start downloading i already have it installed so i'm not going to install again but you just have to download and install now you can install it just like every other software I also made a video earlier on how to install VirtualBox on Mac OS. So if you find it difficult to install then make sure to check the description. Now the next thing you want to download is Linux Mint ISO file. So let's open a new tab and then search for Linux Mint. Now you can see the first page over here which heads to linuxmint.com. Click on it. And then click on the download button on the screen. Okay, so we can see different editions, desktop environment of Linux Mint. So this is the Cinnamon edition. You come down, you can see Mint and then XFace. Now you can go with any one you prefer, but for this video, we are going with the Cinnamon edition. So you click on download and scroll down. Select one of the available servers here and it should start downloading. The file size is about 2.8 gigabytes. Now I already have this downloaded so I'm going to cancel it as well. After downloading and installing VirtualBox and then downloading Linux Mint ISO file, we can then close our browser and then open our download folder and you can see this is Linux Mint 21.2. Now let's open VirtualBox and then create a new virtual machine by clicking on new. Now let's call this machine Linux Mint. 21.2 and then set the type to Linux, set the version to Ubuntu 64 bits, and then next. Now, this is the memory size, which is our RAM. So, I'm going to give it about 4 gigabytes of RAM since I have 16 gigabytes on my PC. Now, you shouldn't give more than 40% of your RAM to your virtual machine, else it will slow down your host computer. Now, let's continue. Create a virtual hard disk now, continue. VDI VirtualBox Dix image continue dynamically allocated continue now this is the storage you want to allocate to your machine so anything above 25 gigabytes should be fine but I'm going to give it 42 gigabytes and that should be okay to run Linux Mint create so these are the details of our newly created machine now we have to make few changes here by clicking on settings and then you can go to system the base memory is a RAM which you can increase or reduce whenever you want. Same with the processors as well. Now we are going to give it two CPU cores since we have four CPU cores on our PC, but you shouldn't give more than 50%. Now the next thing we want to do is go to display and I increase the video memory to 128 megabytes. Also enable 3D acceleration down here. And next we go to storage. Click on the empty disk icon under controller IDE. And then by the right click on the disk icon again and then click on choose a disk file now locate the linux mint iso we downloaded in our download folder select it and then open and then click on ok now we can click on start to initialize the installation so let's click on start so it is going to boot into the live environment of linux mint where we are going to begin the installation from And here we go. Now you can see a program on the screen called Install Linux Mint. Double click on it to launch the installer, then we can begin installing Linux Mint. Now select the language for the installation, continue. Select your keyboard layout as well, and then continue. We're going to select install multimedia codec which is actually required to play some video formats and then continue 
now we're gonna go with erase disk and install linux mint so it's gonna erase the partition we created earlier for our installation and then it's gonna install linux mint in that partition so let's click on install now now select your location time zone continue set the username for your virtual machine which we're going to use to log in and also a password and then continue this should take about 15 minutes or less to install sometimes it may even take longer it all depends on your pc hardware and how much resources you are located to this vm and we are done with the installation this took less than 10 minutes which is quite fast now let's click on restart now and it should restart into linux mint now you can see a prompt saying please remove the installation medium and then press enter well if you head back to virtualbox and then go to settings and then go to our storage you can see that the installation media has already been removed so we can just head back and then continue with this by hitting enter Now let's log in with our password. So basically, this is how to install Linux Mint on Mac OS using VirtualBox. Now we can change the resolution by going to Display Settings. And then we can change the resolution according to our PC resolution. If this video was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.